All right, we're gonna make ourselves a video I've been telling you about for a while. Um, kind of show you on our, our performance beef deal how it's set up. Um, here, we'll maybe do it right here first. So, oh, that's why my pet's not on. We're gonna have to do it up here. So we're gonna bring up our little performance beef app. And it's just regular regular iPad. Uh, I've got all my pins and stuff. This is the scale app where it shows your loads. So we're, we're kind of really down. We're just down to four loads, and our, our loads right now aren't really even that big. Uh, we don't really have any calves in, so we're gonna do the first load here. You just select it, and it's got all the pins on this load. We just push load, and then what it has here is all your ingredients. So my feed truck says it's it's got 230 pounds in it, and. Um, I may just have a little straw or something left from the cow load from yesterday afternoon or or it may just be off a little bit uh, so typically like if you you're feeding the same loads and you went over on something and you have some feed left you just hit that distribute button and it'll break that down over all the ingredients and so like you can just uh, oh say you forgot to take a pin off something and so you have like 2,000 pounds or something in there. Well, you can redistribute it to the other stuff. But since this is different, we're going to just leave it the way it is. Uh, try to get this set up here where you guys... Oh, okay. I think my my camera stopped. So I'll have to restart you. But we'll go from there. So the first thing that we're gonna load, and this is connected to our feed truck through a, it takes a new scale head in the truck, which uh, it uses a pinpoint scale head, and they're connected through a Bluetooth. I think that's how they, they have them, or, or Wi-Fi or something. Uh, somehow, it, I forget how it's set up. I, th I thought it was Bluetooth, and I think it is, but. This is our wheat litch that we're going to come in with first. Alex was kind enough to leave us a nice big pile ready to go, so I didn't have to untarp anything this morning. So I do, uh, now I'm, I'm probably going to be pretty off. Alex has been uh, spot on, but I feed on the weekends or on Sundays, just depending. Uh, he's been running the feed truck and he's so I get an email every day at the end of the day on how much of each ingredient was put in. So if they're like way over or and how much each pin was fed. So if they're on tar target or off target. And so he's been, he's been doing pretty good. Uh, we're just, the one problem where we're kind of at right now is these, our, our loads have gotten really, they're pretty small. And so loading with this big loader it's a uh, it's not as easy like as loading with a skid steer because this, this bucket it's great for when we're we're mixing full loads eight nine ten thousand pound loads it's great because it's um, you know it's a lot more controllable but with this this big uh, bucket on here you got to be a little more uh, a little more careful and, and it's just you go over like if we were just running a finishing ration I would I would just want to uh, run the skid steer so we'd be a lot more precise but and it we don't go over a lot but it's you know you, you do you will occasionally go over uh, I I do a lot more now because I'm not running the feed truck every day so and that's you run the feed truck every day. You uh, you get uh, you get pretty good at it. 
The one thing we have found, I think, uh, we've kind of noticed is that occasionally, I think the way just our, our service is out here, everything's kind of set up, we'll get a bit of a lag and on here on what our truck's reading and it's it's really easy to go over on like corn or or just something that's heavy it's a very dense product and so it's pretty easy to go over on that silage is really easy to go over on too uh, if you're if you don't have it broken up like that and you're you're dumping chunks of it in there well that's just really easy to go over on but since we're feeding, we're feeding just a grower ration, it's, it's not too big of a deal. So we come in here and get our, get our hay, our ground hay, and have that set up. And so that's really all you gotta do, is you just gotta sit there and push the next button. And it'll go on here. This, these iPads have an alarm on them where it'll, uh, it'll tell you when you start getting closer, it'll start beeping at you, but they're too quiet. Uh, they're way too quiet, you can't hardly hear them. So, and I, I think that'd be a great feature. I think it's a great feature because my old scale head in the feed truck, uh, as you would be feeding down the bunk line, you would put in the scale head how much you wanted to put out in that pin, and it would uh, it would start beeping at you like at 100 pounds and it would get faster until you got to zero. And then it would, uh, so it, you could watch the feed coming out of the truck and kind of watch the calves if you're, where we have so many calves that come in that we're just, uh, you know, we're, we're backgrounding and preconditioning and so we're watching the health on the calves and we want to see who's coming up to eat and who's dragging behind so you know it's not you're not really watching the scale head as much and uh, that, that was a very very nice thing that I had on there which this has it but it's it's way too quiet you can't you can't hear it and I, I, mean, I may just not have the settings set up high enough but maybe you can throw an external speaker in the truck or something or in the loader and it would do pretty good but as you can see it'll start you get within like so many percentage it'll it'll get into the yellow kind of giving you an indicator and you kind of go off that so on these like distillers in the corn kind of learn that you get to about a hundred pounds away you need to start rolling your bucket back um, when you're feeding quite a bit in there or you'll be way over but you know it makes it makes the loading just extremely simple uh, it's just, it's it's quite nice because all you've got to do is, is sit there and look at it. And you're not sitting there doing numbers in your head to make sure that you're, you know, you're you're perfectly on point. And it's uh, which I, w I will say the one one drawback at it is uh, you get really good at doing math in your head if you're you're running batch sheets and uh, you're going one from one to the next because you know it, if you're not perfectly on there then uh, you got to start doing a lot of math and so. we'll get our corn loaded in here So, I don't know, most of you guys can probably tell we're not running a very high percentage of corn in this ration right now. We're just, this is just a grower ration for these calves and 
they're, it's so hot, right? See, right there, I shouldn't have. I should have just left it. But they'll uh, they get really efficient in the summertime because they're not having to create all that heat to maintain body temperature. And they're not using all their energy up. And what happens is they'll get way too fat on you. So we switch to this one and really back them off with the corn. It seems, it seems to work really well. We just about got all this fed up. And then, uh, so what, I'll have to move the truck and it has a nice feature. I won't, I won't bother, uh, probably showing that part of it or going to the other ingredients anyway, but I'll show you what I have to do when I do move the truck because uh, things will weigh different. You know, you move that truck, those scales, they'll just be a little different. And see, I told you it's gonna be rough today. That's not the best, but that's why Alex does the feeding now. So, if you notice, I, I hit the, the lock screen there. And what that does is that locks that scale on that truck and I can, I can take that truck and move it to uh, where I go and put my supplement pellets in. I'll unlock the screen on my supplement pellets, put them in, lock the screen, then I'll move the truck to where I put the molasses in and unlock the screen, put that in mix it all up and uh, that that way because if you move this this tr if you move it while you're selected on one of these ingredients it'll read different in a different place because that truck is has moved and uh, so it'll, it'll typically come back to the same weight but it'll say that you uh, you you, uh, you know put more in or put less in so Anyways, I'll stop this one here, and then the next one will be when we're putting the feed out.